let's start using Bootstrap. And there are two ways we can use this toolkit. One is to download. And you can just click on the first link. It says compiled CSS and JavaScript. Well, let's just see what gets downloaded. So if I open this, you'll see here that I have a CSS file and JavaScript file. You see there's a bunch of them. You, you don't have to worry too much about it. It's just different CSS files that are used together based on if you're using the Bootstrap grid or the Bootstrap CSS. And you'll see some of them have the bootstrap.min.css. And that means that they are minified. So if I open this, you'll see that everything is on one line and minified. Right now, all we would need to do is just add this to our project. But I want to show you a better way of doing it, especially when we're getting started. And that is, we can use something called a CDN. So what is a CDN? A CDN is a content delivery network. Bootstrap has this link and they're hosting the Bootstrap CSS files for us. So we don't even need to include it in our project. All we need to do is add this line into our HTML. And you'll see here that the link tag, which refers to a style sheet, has an href that links us to the Bootstrap minified CSS. And that's what a content delivery network is. We don't need to include our files into our project. We just link to someplace else that is actually hosting this file. So let's copy that. Let's open up Sublime. And I'm going to create a new file here. And we'll save it to the desktop. And we'll call it index.html. I save. And let's open that up in the browser as well. OK, I'm empty because, well, we don't have anything. Here, let's start with our HTML page. And we'll title it Bootstrap. And again, we have that link copied which is the CDN that says, hey, I want the CSS file from Bootstrap. If you scroll down to the bottom, it also has the JavaScript file. And like I said before, we need these files if we're using features of Bootstrap, such as dropdowns or modals that actually add some actions to our websites. So let's just copy this. And where we want to put JavaScript, and again, when we get to that section in this course, we'll talk more about it. We want to put it at the bottom of our body tag. And that is because you want these JavaScript files to load after all the content of your websites have loaded. This way, we have our website loaded, and then these scripts get downloaded. If we put these at the top, you'll have to wait for all of them to load before a user can see your website. And Obviously, that's, that's not what we want to do. OK, and this is all we need to have Bootstrap working for us. So let's play with a few things. Let's say we wanted to add a nav bar. I would go into the components and select nav bar. And you can read about how it works. But I really, really like this navigation bar. So I'm just going to copy the code and add it to my body. And I know it can get overwhelming when you're copying a whole bunch of code and you don't know exactly what it's doing. But if you actually read this line by line, you know everything. It's just a few tags with their own specific Bootstrap classes. So let's save here and refresh. And look at that. We have a navigation bar. How easy is that? And one thing that Bootstrap is really famous for, and why people love it so much is that it's fully responsive. So you see the menu bar here. If I make it bigger, look at that. It automatically changes according to what we need. OK, what else can we add over here? Let's look at, let's add a Jumbotron. Hello world. OK, so I can copy this. And again, let's add that to. Let's add that right below the nav bar. So again, in Sublime Text, I can minimize this by clicking the side over here. And below the nav bar, we'll add this Jumbotron. OK, so if I save and refresh, look at that. We have Hello World. Let's add one last thing. We'll do a modal. 
And with the modal, I really like this one, launch demo modal. So I'm going to copy this. And again, I'm going to minimize the Jumbotron just so we can see what we've added. Copy and paste this. Always have to adjust my indentation. Perfect. And I save this and refresh. We have the launch demo modal. And if I click this, look at that. We have our own modal. Now, this, just to prove that this is JavaScript, if I remove these scripts, and I'm just going to comment them out, and I click this, nothing happens. And that's what JavaScript is doing. We'll get into it, like I said, later. But there are some features that might not work with Bootstrap if you don't include these scripts. But if you're only using it for styles, then you might not even need these. So if I remove this, if you saw, we still have all of these. But the nav bar isn't working anymore. So again, you can play around and see what you need. You don't need to know exactly what these scripts do yet. So just leave them there for now. Now, how can we change the style so that you know we can add our own custom look to our website? Well, if we wanted to change something like the launch demo modal button, well, in that case, I can see over here that this is the button. And I can look at the classes that Bootstrap gives us. If I go into buttons, well, here I can get see that all these classes have, all these colors have different names. So if I want it to be red, I can use button, button danger. So again, I can remove primary. Actually, I can just type this out. Instead of primary, I can do danger, save, and refresh. And now the button's red. But again, what if you want your own custom look to the button? Well, that's easy to do. We can now say that from now on, I want button danger to be orange. The way we do that is we create a style sheet at the top. And now we can add our own style sheet. And you can see it's below the bootstrap one, which means that according to cascading style sheets, our styles will override anything that might match the bootstrap ones. So let's create a style file here. And I actually have one created already on our desktop. You can see it over here in the same directory as the index.html. And here we can say that the button danger that we just added has a background color of orange. If I save this and refresh, look at that. Our button is now orange. And the hover effect is still red, and that's default bootstrap. So we can do button danger hover. is going to be black. Save and refresh. Look at that. We have our own custom button. You can see Bootstrap is very powerful. We're able to create websites really, really fast this way. And in the next section, we're going to talk about the best feature of Bootstrap that I have yet to tell you about. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.